What's going on? My name is Eric Cole and I am going to attempt to journal and break down the process of making a short film as I go through it. And we're going to kick this off by talking about log lines. Log lines. Log lines. Log lines. So for those of you who don't know, I'm making a short film called The First Time I Never Met You. We're on Insta, we're on Facebook. If you feel like following us and if you want to join our newsletter, I'll drop a link in the description below so you can go ahead and click on that. The film is about a troubled scientist who rewinds time to reunite with his late wife, but he must come to terms with the man that his grief has turned him into in order to navigate their very first date or risk erasing their story from time itself. And that's it, that's my log line. Well, at least one version of my log line. But what exactly is a log line? A log line is a brief summary, usually one or two sentences of a TV program, film or book that states the central conflict of the story, often providing both a synopsis of the story's plot and a hook to stimulate interest. And listening to this definition, you'd probably think that a log line only comes into play once you've finished your script, your book or your film, and you're ready to tell the world about it. Well, I actually started with the log line and then wrote the script. Let me explain. Now you see the log line is a very concise teaser that distills the central elements of your story. But what are those elements? Well, you have the protagonist. That's who the film is about and will follow. You have the main action and that is what the protagonist will do during the film. You have the, the goal, which is what the protagonist hopes to achieve by doing the, the, the main action. You've got the antagonist force, that's the main obstacle that will get in the way of the protagonist achieving the goal. And then the next two don't always get used in log lines, but it's still pretty central to your story. So there's the inciting incident, which is generally the event that takes the protagonist away from their normal life and onto their journey towards achieving their goal. And the stakes, which is what the protagonist stands to lose if they fail or stands to gain if they succeed. So what does that then look like? Well, let's try. After joining a school of wizardry, an orphan boy must learn the art of magic in order to defeat the evil sorcerer who wants him dead. And let's try it with, uh, with my film. Um, after rewinding time, a widowed scientist must come to terms with his grief in order to navigate his very first date with his late wife or risk erasing their story from time itself. The way I look at it, it's like the logline presents you with the, the who, the what and the why in order for you to want to know the how. How does Harry Potter go about learning magic? Well, that's the, that's the meat, that's the bulk of the story. So you can see how the log line tells you what you need to know about the story in order to generate a desire to know more. And that's the reason why I like to start with the log line because that way I know I've got my bases covered. I need to know that I've got a solid foundation before I start to build on it. But what do you think about log lines? Actually, why don't you try and put one together? Drop it in the comments and I'm really curious to see what you guys come up with. I'm actually gonna put one, put one together myself as well. And, and don't forget, the first time I never met you, we're on Insta, we're on Facebook, and we've got a newsletter as well. If you want to stay updated with some exclusive content and updates, just click the link in the description below and drop your email.